Modesty is my Hebrew name. When I was about uh, 20 years old or so, I became religious and uh, decided to start going by my Hebrew name. Fans danced and sang along to music that definitely is unique and to many, inspiring. The music, well, I guess um, it's multi-genre music, being that we all enjoy and listen to several styles of music, so um, we don't necessarily try to stick with one, one particular form. It was Matis Yahoo's first time on Guam, and of course, we had to ask what his overall impression was of the island. Oh, it's beautiful. Very, very nice, nice place. People are very warm, and it's, it's gorgeous. But many wonder just how he got into music. I guess I just grew up listening to music. Um, I started learning how to beatbox when I was about 16. Um, I, I was into writing songs, writing rhymes, and I listened to you know, all styles of music, so I wrote rhymes, like, uh, or I wrote reggae music. I started um, getting, like, instrumental tapes and just singing along to the tapes, my own melodies and rhymes and stuff, into a PA, and uh, that's how I kind of got started doing. As for his music being considered spiritual and passionate? I was, um, I was always, as a kid, I was searching for some identity to try to understand where I, where I come from and who I am. And uh, I realized that being Jewish was a big part of that. So I started to get interested in the history and you know, study up on you know, my culture. And um, at the same time, I had a belief, strong belief in God. So I, I had a certain spiritual uh, side to me. So I, uh, I started to look into spiritual Judaism. And uh, I found that. It felt like it really fit well with, you know, with my ideas, and I sort of got into that. As for what he has on his plate in the coming months... We're touring this summer. We have a, a lot of shows, um, mostly in the States, and then um, finishing up a new record, and uh, hopefully put that out sometime early next year. Matis Yahoo, who is known to be a passionate artist, offered advice to aspiring musicians here on island. The one tip that I always say is to just um, find music that you love and listen to it passionately. And then um, when you go to just play your own music, spend as much time as you can enjoying yourself with your music, you know. Before preparing to depart for a concert in Hawaii, he had this to say to the people of Guam. It's been really wonderful. Thanks for having me here. It's an honor and a privilege. God bless.